St. John chapter 3, verse 16, and it reads, For the Most High so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostle slash other bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akims. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith of God so people here for a bear. Just a quick little lesson, just proven according to the Bible once again that this word is for Israel and Israel only. See, the, the people that the Lord is coming back to save and deliver are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. See, and this is their go-to scripture, the so-called Christians, these people in the churches, this is their go-to scripture right here, John 3, 16. But they never look up the meaning of words, and never, they, they, and they never will. And no matter how many times the Lord have us break it down to, and this is back to the basics, you see, back to the basics once again, who, who salvation is for. We, we're going to get them scriptures, man. We're going to break it down to you the right way. Because when you look up that word world in the Greek, it's cosmos a separate society, a godly arrangement. You see, the the government of Israel, man. You see, and starting off with the elect, not all Israel on this side. But this scripture right here doesn't involve you heathens, man. Straight up and down. Go go read Psalms 147, 19 and 20. Go read Leviticus 26, 46. The Bible in general was written to the Hebrew Israelites. Let's get this again. Because this is their go-to scripture, Israel. They're going to always go to the scripture. And if you're not learned, if you don't have the right teachers, you're going to be taken by their nonsense. Because they're going to they're gonna come with smooth words. They're going to make it sound all level devil. You, if you ain't built up on a level, you're going to say, yeah, yeah, that do make sense. But but nah, John 3, 16. St. John chapter 3, verse 16. For the Most High so loved the world of Israel. That he gave his only begotten son. You see? Lord Yahweh Shai. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. We're going to get a quick precept too. Let's get a quick precept. Let's go to Romans. You see, it says that he gave his only begotten son, right? Let's see right here. Romans chapter 9, verse 1. This is the apostle Paul speaking, right? I say the truth in Yahweh Shai. Who you're going to call it Jesus, I lie not. Remember, the only begotten son. Remember that now in John 3, 16, it said the only begotten son, right? I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit. Meaning he's telling the absolute truth, right? That I have great heaviness and continuous sorrow in my heart, meaning in his mind. For I could wish that myself were a curse for, from Yahweh Shai. He said he wished he could have took on the things that Lord Yahweh Shai went through, right? For my brethren, his brothers, right? My kinsmen, his family members, right? According to the flesh now, you got to come through that seed line. Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption? The Israelites are being adopted back to the Heavenly Father through Lord Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, right? And the glory and the covenants, the old covenant and new covenant, right? And the giving of the law, all for Israel. Uh, you, you don't see heathens nowhere in here, right? And the service of the Most High. You see, put, doing the ministry, the men out there in the highways and byways, all this was given to the Hebrew Israelites and the promises. Listen to this. And this is the point right here. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came. Remember, we just read in John 3, 16, that the Heavenly Father sent his only begotten son in the flesh. Whose are the fathers and of concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came. Who is for who is over all Yahweh blessed forever? Our month. So the Lord came and shed his blood for who? Israel, man. The laws are for who? Israel. The covenant is for who? Israel. The glory is for who? Israel. The adoption pertains to who? Israel. You see? Who's gonna be out there on the highways and byways prophesying, teaching this word? Israel. The Israelite men. You see? And, and, and this is plain, and it might be going over a whole lot of people's head because the Lord don't want them to get it, but it is what it is. 
we're, I'm, I'm bringing it down to you. This is so plain. So plain and simple. We're going to get another scripture. Just scriptures over everything, you know. You know how we do. So you Israelites out there, watch out for these Christians, man. They're going to tell you that the Lord died for everybody. We just proved who we died for. The Israelites. Who we shed his blood for. The Israelites. Isaiah 45. And then this lesson ain't even long because I got to get ready to head out. Lord, one of the elect is edified. Isaiah 45, 17. This is another precept to John 3, 16. Remember, that's their go-to scripture. That's all they got. They probably got, they got three scriptures at the most. They got three scriptures at the most, Israel, that they don't understand. But they're going to bring them out on you now, so beware. Isaiah 45 and 17, and it reads, but Israel, and this is so plain. This is so plain. Old Testament, New Testament, Apocrypha, guess what? Guess what, you people out there? It's all one book. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord. But everybody, they, don't, they ain't reading this scripture right here. But Israel, maybe the Lord did change, right? It's 2022. Hey, maybe he changed, right? But Israel, Isaiah 45 and 17, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World, there go again. That's the world right there. World without end. The world of Israel. That's the world without end, all right? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded, world without end. That's why the scriptures tell us to study, to show thyself approved, rightly dividing the world of truth, rightly dividing the world of truth, making these precepts link up. You say something, make sure these precepts link up, man. Let's get, let's get a man. Oh, yeah, I said something. Maybe the Lord changed, right? So let's just get this right quick. Because maybe he did, right? Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, right? Even though I'm reading straight out the same Bible, this in your church, this in your house collecting dust. But maybe maybe I'm wrong, right? Let's, let's see. Let's see if I'm wrong. Malachi 3. Let's just see because you, you never know. I could be wrong, right? Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, all caps, the most high Yahweh, who they only call God. I am change not all right therefore ye sons of jacob the israelites are not consumed all right but 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 oh yeah i don't know what i'm talking about though right i i, I don't know and so what if some don't believe right so what if some don't believe this is just back to the basics we, we got to always go back to the basics man let's get this joel you know we, we don't know what we're talking about. The men on the highways and byways, we don't know what we're talking about. The Christians do, right? The Christians know everything, right? Come on, man. Still follow for that? Let's get this. Joel chapter 2, verse 27. And it reads, And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, a people before us a place, and that I am the Lord, your power. And this is all, this is all plain. And that I am the Lord, your power. And none else. You see, the Lord's coming back to deliver Israel. The Apostle Paul, then we're gonna get that too. That Romans the tenth chapter, the Lord's will. And my people shall never be ashamed. So the Lord's coming back to save and deliver Israel. The Hebrew Israelites, right? Starting off with the elect, right? Let's get another one. Let's get that Romans the tenth chapter. And, and you see, what do we do? All we do is bring out scriptures every time. That's all we do. We let the scripture speak, man. We let the scripture speak. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 1. This is Apostle Paul again. You say you say you love him to death, right? Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren. His, his brothers, man. And we read in Romans the ninth chapter who his brothers was, the Israelites. The Apostle Paul didn't never say you he this was his brother, man. All right? And when, when, it, when it goes into the Gentiles that he went to go speak to, it was the Israelites in a Gentile state of mind that was practicing the customs of the heathens, man. Get some understanding. Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High. Look, look, for Israel. He was praying for the Israelites that they, no, nobody else, that they might be saved. See? So stop trying to add all these different nations into the equation, man. It's not, it's not going to happen, man. All right? So just, just, just stop it. Once again, Romans 10, 1. Brethren, 
my heart's desire, his mind, the only thing he was thinking about. You see, that's what the word heart goes back to, la, which means your mind. My heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. You see, that they might be saved. It's, it's all plain, man. I mean, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, I mean, you know, I ain't got no control over who gets and who don't. But you heathen nations are considered spittle. Spittle, spit to the most high. You're going you're gonna to learn that. You're going to learn that. You see, when words can't teach, adversity will. You heathen nations are spittle to the heavenly father and his only begotten son. You, you, you're nothing to him. This is, you're, just part, you're just part of the movie. The Lord put you over us. It's just part of the movie, man. We went off. We're being punished. And that, that's as far as it goes. Isaiah chapter 40. That, that's as far as it goes, man. Let's get this 15. Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as you heathen nations are as a drop of the bucket. You carrying two big large pails of water. Some little drops drop out. Is that gonna mean anything? Is that gonna hurt the water that's still in the bucket? No. That's you heathens. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. You see? Which is the small dust or dust on the balance don't weigh nothing. It says, behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing. Let's jump down. Verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. That, and that's, this is plain. We read Joel 2 and 27. He's in the midst of Israel. And then he came right back in Isaiah, the 40th chapter, verse 17. and said, what? All nations, do I need to blow it up? Or maybe I do, right? Maybe you ain't seeing it. Your glasses got, um, got dirt on or something, right? It got, it's fogged up, right? Isaiah 40 and 17, all nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. But, th but that ain't in the Bible, though, right? Maybe, I'm, maybe this is a made-up Bible, right? Maybe what I'm reading from is made up, right? Th that's what you're going to say, right? When you when you can go to the same scriptures that I went to. But, 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 but once again, I don't know what I'm talking about, right? Let's see what, let's see what else, man. I just wanted to hit some points, man. Let's see. Let's go to Romans, the, um, the 11th chapter. We we, we, we about finished. We, we, we about finished, man. It's all good, though. Some people going to get it. Some people ain't, you know. This is, uh, let's see. Romans, the 11th chapter. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's, let's read the couple of verses and then I'm going to jump down. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say then, have the Most High cast away his people? Because remember, the Most High turned his back on us. You know, we went into all kind of different captivities, things of that nature. So they say the Lord ain't dealing with Israel no more. He's just dealing with the heathens. Romans 11. That's why you got you need teachers, Israel. Because they'll pull a fast one on you quick. Romans 11 and 1. I say then, have the Most High cast away his people. We just proved who his people was. Joel 2, 27 and many other scriptures. Israel, right? We proved it in Romans the 9th chapter. You see? We proved it in Romans the 10th chapter. Isaiah 45, 17. All the above, man. We proved it in John 3, 16. Yahweh forbid. For this Apostle Paul again. For I am also an Israelite. For I also am an Israelite. You see, the Apostle Paul was an Israelite. Remember, my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. You see, who are Israelites, who, who pertain to the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the promises, the giving of the law, the services. Remember, remember all that? Just rewind the video. Remember all that? You, you're quick to forget all that, though, right? For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. The most I have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. You see, what ye not, what the scripture saith of Elijah? Um, how he maketh intercession to the most high against Israel. Let's just jump down. This is a Romans chapter 11. So the Lord didn't do away with his people. Listen to this. Romans 11, 26. I ain't, I ain't seen nothing about no heathens yet. I ain't seen nothing about you heathen nations yet, man. Romans 11, 26. And so all Israel shall be saved. It, that, that's what I'm saying. And so all Israel shall be saved as is written. 
There shall come out of Zion the deliverer. Lord Yahweh, out of Zion the deliverer, man. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob, man. All right? Israel, Jacob, same person, man. But, but this, this lesson right here is going to go fly over a whole lot of people here. They, they ain't trying to hear all that. It ain't involving. And that's the thing about Israel. If it doesn't involve the heathens, they don't want to hear it. It everything has to involve the heathens, man. Everything. You, you see, the heathens got to be a part of everything that we're involved in. If not, they don't want it, man. Our people don't want nothing of their own. The heathens had to sleazy. He had to be involved. He has to. They're not trying to hear nothing. We bring out and I bring out about 10, 10 scriptures proving it's all about Israel. But if the heathens ain't involved, our people don't want to hear it. They, they, that Stockholm syndrome is real, Israel. It's real. See Matthew 1 21. And she shall bring forth a son, Mary. You know what I'm saying? The mother of Mary, Lord Yahweh's mother. All right? And his father was Joseph. They had sex. You see? And thou shalt call his name Yahawashai, for he shall save his people from their sins. His people. Who was the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible given to Israel? He shall save his people from their sins, right? This is plain, Israel. To the ones the Lord wanted to get it, though, you see? This is right here, Israel. He shall save his people. You see, Joel 2.27 told you who his people was. You, you skipped over that, right? You put your fingers in your ears on that one, right? Come on now. Once again, St. Matthew 1, 21. This back to the basics, man. Who can be saved, all right? Back to the basics. Who can be saved? St. Matthew 1, 21. And she shall bring forth a son, the mother of Mary, right? Lord Yahweh Shai's mother, right? And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. For he shall save his people from their sins. Because that's what his name means. He saves, he delivers, right? Let's see what else. This is this is like this lesson gonna go over your head, though, even though these scriptures write plain. Line upon line upon line. You, this, this is how you read the Bible. I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. It's going over your head, though. Jeremiah 33. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 16. And in those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. All 12 tribes, Judah representing the so-called Negroes, Jamaicans, and Haitians, right? Jerusalem, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, all the way down to the so-called Mexicanos. All 12 tribes, no heathens in the scripture now. Once again, Jeremiah 33 and 16. In those days shall Judah be saved, and Jerusalem shall dwell safely. And this is the name wherewith she shall be called the Lord our righteousness. So it's all about the Hebrew Israelites. They're going to be saved and delivered, man. I mean, like I said before, just a quick little lesson. But I can keep going on, going on, going on to the break of dawn. But I got to get ready to roll. You see, and look, and look, so what if some don't believe? You see, so what if some don't believe? Back to the basics. Who's going to be saved? Shalom.